Okay, we are back again to this Model 66-1, again, almost 100 years old. It's, it's really amazing how well this was taken care of and how pampered. Again, we always try to buy our machines from the original owner, as we did in this instance. And I'll tell you one thing, she just did a wonderful job of, of taking care of what was an investment when she bought it back in the 1920s. And we're going to show you, beyond being an uh, uh, incredibly beautiful machine, it's all about heavy-duty sewing. And we're going to demonstrate that again with this canvas binding tape. You can see from the side, this stuff is unbelievably thin, but don't let that trick you, because it's also unbelievably strong. I am applying a lot of pressure to that. It doesn't tear, it doesn't rip, it doesn't budge because it's unbelievably strong from a tinsel strength standpoint and also very difficult to pierce, especially when you raise the stakes all the way to 10 layers. You cut them off with me. Layer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I guess we decided to go with eight layers, not 10. So we're gonna do eight layers instead of 10, but. Let it suffice to say, from seeing the other sew-offs, this machine would be able to very easily go through 10 layers if we chose to do that. And notice from the side as I group it together how thick those eight layers are, in fact. Unbelievably thick and very difficult to get through. That is, unless the machine has been serviced by me. Follow me down to the needle and watch what this incredible 66-1 does with a task that would really embarrass even some of the motorized big boy Singer machines. All right, presser foot is down. Again, eight layers of this very difficult to get through canvas binding tape. All right, here we go. What'd you think of that? I've said it before, I'll tell you one thing, when it comes to heavy duty sewing, the 66 series machines, if they've been serviced properly, really get the job done easier than a lot of the other machines. Even some of the uh, the potted motor machines, it, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm applying hardly no effort at all to that hand crank and we just went through eight layers of this. And notice as well, just like with the other stitch offs, look at the quality of that stitch. Again, the 66 does is just as good of a job and is able to handle a much heavier load than the featherweight. And you get a stitch that is absolutely textbook perfect. The spacing, the formation, just everything about it is perfect. You turn it to the side, look at again what eight layers of canvas binding tape looks like. And then remember how easily, even with me hand cranking it, how easily we went through that. And as we turn it to the side, Notice as well that lock-in stitch. I'm going to pull it back and let you really get a nice look at it. I'll tell you one thing, that's a perfect lock-in stitch as well. So, had this been 10 layers, I'll tell you one thing, it would have been just as easy as these 8 layers that we just raced through.